Siler City is about to get a lot busier. Upon the completion of this mammoth facility behind me, it will be the world's largest producer of silicon carbide materials. And it's being built by a company from North Carolina called Wolfspeed. We harness the power of silicon carbide to help dreamers change the world. Wolfspeed produces semiconductors and it's expanding, building two giant new facilities, one in upstate New York and now the other here in Siler City. The new plant will employ 1,800 people. Brad Cohn is Wolfspeed's Senior Vice President for Legal and Government Affairs. A lot of factors go into ultimately you, you're going to look at, you know, the, 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 the ability to have a big enough site. Are there people there? What is the infrastructure there? You know, et cetera. But, you know, it all kind of came together and Silent City was the choice. Wolfspeed is also partnering with local community colleges to offer courses to people who would want to work at the factory. It's called the TCP or Techno Technician Certification Program. Okay, so they can learn how to be technicians at our facilities in Durham. Okay, we're going to be doing the exact same things out there with the uh, Chatham County Community College. Siler City Mayor Donald Matthews also highlighted why companies are starting to move and build in the town. The people of Siler City, the location of Siler City, be in the middle of the state. The highway system, 64 and 421, and I think everything fit. Everything fell into place. People like Paul Quadros, a professor at UNC, Chatham County resident, and state champion soccer coach at Siler City's Jordan Matthews High School. To add uh, the only car manufacturer the state has ever seen to Chatham County and a computer chip manufacturing plant in Siler City. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be a completely different county than it was before. And it's that change that will soon transform this small town into one of the biggest in terms of manufacturing in the state. And just come on back in two, three, four years and watch, see what happened. And I think everybody will be just bouncing off the walls excited because we have some great plans for this town. It's not going to be the way it was in the past, that is certain. Uh, it's not going to be the sleepy little town where Aunt B retired uh, after Mayberry, um, after the Andy Griffith show. Those days will, are going to be gone. Reporting, I'm Christian Phillips.